Hey YouTubers, this is Kinley Gay Six, aka Raymond. First off, there will be no stream tonight. I just got home from the hospital. Long story short, one of my family members was in the hospital. They're doing great, and I was worried, but I'm just glad they're doing all right. So that's a heads up, guys. I'm not I'm not gonna be doing a stream tonight. So, but I will stream tomorrow. I promise you guys this. But first off, wow, 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 and I mean that in a good way. I mean, we've seen two of the best tributes of all time with George Michael and Prince. First off, let's do George Michael for a second. Adele, wow. You know, when I first when I saw that, and when she said stop, I want to start all over because I don't want to mess it up for him. And when she said that, I was like, oh wow. I thought it was going to be like you know like a like a train wreck performance. You know how Ashley Simpson uh, performed at the. Um, Saturday Night Live, and then when she was performing, they played the wrong song. You see him, ho she was hold downing, like kicking her leg, like ding, 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 like that. And I was like, uh oh, it's, wait a minute, this is Adele. I mean, Adele never messes up. It's like, what? And then when she sang, it was like, huh, wow. Everybody, everybody stood up for her, and she was crying her eyes out, singing to one of the greatest, one of the best singers back then, and that was George Michael. If you guys don't know who George Michael is, he's saying Careless Whisper, and he also sings Faith. You see him like, dun, 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 dun. It's like when, uh, it's like on Fairly Odd Parents when Timmy, uh, I'm, I'm going back to cartoon time, and um, this is when on Fairly Odd Parents, Timmy Turner wished to have Chip Skylark's voice, and as you know, Timmy's voice went inside Chip Skylark's, and then when they were able to get their voices back, and they said, I got a new song coming. I was like, dun, 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 dun. When no one would listen, and I was like, huh, "That is a good tribute right there to George Michael, right there, because they use some, the way the, his, the beat and the same music on how George Michael did it back then." You see him; he was wearing like a cowboy boot, and he was up by, leaning on the jukebox, and it was like, mm, 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 like that, and it was like, "Wow, great!" And his feet were tapping; the heel of the shoe was tapping against. The jukebox, and that was perfect. He, he's a good singer, and it's and he was in a group called Whammo, which I did not know that. But <laughs> my mom plays a lot of music. That's how I knew all these things. But you know what? Adele did an amazing job, and I like I saw on Twitter, and they said a great tribute from a legend to a legend, because Adele has won a lot of Grammys, and she didn't win a lot this year. And it was, it was amazing how, uh, the, one th the one thing I love about Adele is her voice. She was able to project her voice and was able to do the tribute to George Michael in a very special way. And it was amazing to see, see her perform. It was seeing the pictures of George Michael right up there. And let me tell you guys. We lost a lot of good actors and actresses back then. Also, great musicians. We did David Bowie and George Michael and Prince. And I mean, come on, guys. These were the greatest. The one that really shocked me was Prince. Oh, speaking of Prince, Bruno Mars did another great performance by doing the tribute for Prince. He was wearing that pink outfit, playing the guitar. And... I think it was like, uh, it didn't look that purple to me, but hey, he, d he did the job and it was great. I mean, hearing those the music again, even though they did tribute, hearing that music again, it reminds us like, wow, these two were one of the greatest singers of all time and they're gone. Gone on Christmas. George Michael was gone on Christmas, and Prince, he was gone like around uh, March or April, either one of those months, because I, when I went to the uh, Beyonce concert, the Formation, or was it Lemonade, either one, Formation, <laughs> um, Beyonce sang one of his songs uh, from Purple, the movie Purple Rain, when she was, he was playing the, the piano, and he was singing to that girl, and that was that was great. And also, when she left the stage, the whole square was purple, 
And we hear him saying Purple Rain, and that was great. And everyone out there in that field and in the stands had their flashlights going like this, and that was great. And these two did an amazing job paying tribute to these people, and, and that's what I can give you. I would love to show you the performances on here, but as you know, it's copyrighted, so I really don't want to get fit, hit by that. But you know what? It was worth watching. I was planning not to watch it, but when I saw that they were actually going to do tributes, and I was like, oh, yeah. I'm, I, okay, I'll watch it then, and I did. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, there's one thing you guys don't know, and I, I'm sure if you guys uh, know this person... A famous jazz singer named Al Jarreau has passed away today at the age of 76. Now, he, now I've, I've only heard of him one time from my mom, and he has a, he, he's a good singer, and he has almost a similar voice like Aaron Neville. As you guys know, Aaron Neville's thing like, ha, 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 that he has like an echo type, but he sings the sa almost the same way as him. But he, he was a famous jazz singer. I've... I've actually listened to some of his jazz music when I was in jazz band. This was my junior and senior year, and that was amazing. We lost another great legend right there, Al Jarreau. I've heard of him before, and and you know what? Uh, as you guys know, in two weeks, two weeks, the Oscars are going to be coming on this Sunday on the 26th of February, and... I think this is going to be the biggest one ever because, as you guys know, they do tributes to all the actors and actresses that passed away last year. And as you guys know, 2016, we lost a lot of great actors and actresses. And I'm sure Prince will be in there because he he, he did star in a movie. And also David Bowie. Ugh. It's just sad knowing that these people, the greatest... Musical artists of our of our time, we've heard of them before. But we, we, as kids, we would hear them from our parents, and we see their music videos. We see how they how their concerts and everything, and it was like wow, our childhood, our childhood uh, like stars that we that we look up to, they're gone, and oh, it's getting hard, guys. But you know what? Those two were the, was the best performances ever, and I was glad to watch them. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reactions, more gameplay. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this. Those two were the best, and I'm sure this is going to be on YouTube. I'm hoping that it will be on there because I just got home, and whew, that's why it took me a while to do this reaction video right here, and I can't wait to see it again because it was worth watching. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, stay positive. And don't forget, I will stream tomorrow night.